Hello, welcome to a new video. I feel like I need to rename this channel Studio Tidying Channel. Oh, that was very catchy, was it? Something along those lines. Because once again, I need to tidy up. <laughs> one day, maybe one day when I grow up, I'll learn how to tidy up as I go along. But I'm not there yet. So in the meantime, almost every video is gonna have a whole tidy up section. I've got all my journaling stuff out still. That can be put away. All of this needs sorting out and tidying up. Next to me, I've got cardboard boxes that I've been saving since Christmas presents. And um, I'm gonna cover them with some nice paper. I've got some nice scrapbooking paper and I'm gonna make them useful because I need some more boxes for my shelves. I'm still kind of getting sorted since this room is no longer a sewing room as well as an art studio slash study I, it's still not sort of come together and certainly yeah some of my storage solutions need work and <sighs> yeah there's piles of stuff opposite me i can see christmas presents i can see birthday presents that we've bought ready for the year ahead i can see christmas magazines <laughs> There's a few bits and pieces that I've brought in from the hall where they were making it all dusty from the ceiling problem. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do in here. I don't think I'm going to get it all done in the one video. So let's make a start. I'm definitely going to do these boxes because they're just annoying me. Hanging around with their flappy lids. I'm going to cut all of them off so that they're just boxes. And... Um, see what storage solutions we can come up with on the way. Well, wish me luck, and if you've got some tidying up to do, as always, I always say this, then leave this on in the background. Hopefully this will give you the bit of oomph that you need to get going on your creative space as well. Let's do it, we can do it. I just, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, we can do it. Look, Jude brought me back and Rain one as well. One of these from, I think it must have been from Michael's. A giant, oh, <laughs> a giant bag that's going to be so useful. So I'm about to take that up to my sewing room. Perfect. Okay, I give up. I'm going to have to hold you. <laughs> My tripod is upstairs at the moment because most of the week I've been popping in and out of my sewing room to make a dress, uh, which is quite exciting. to get it done before the snowdrops go because 
it's sort of snowdrop inspired and it'd be cool to get a photo shoot done out in a snowdrop filled woodland ideally um but i don't know if there is anywhere like that around here so i might have to do some online research anyway hello again it's now the weekend i think it's been at least a week since i actually chatted to you so i thought i'd say hello again yeah it's been a busy week a busy admin week it's been the week i've been setting up desperately because i said i was going to send out my first email on Wednesday so I had to make it happen <laughs> I had to do it so so that's been most of my week to be honest learning how to use Substack and making the about page and learning how to send it's a bit tricky sending an email without posting it uh, visibly to everyone else but I figured it out in the end by the way thank you everyone for signing up to my newsletter I'm really excited so many of you did and yeah I can't wait to connect more in emails it will be a little bit more personal and uh, yeah I think it's I think it's going to be a really nice sort of community and I'm looking forward to getting to know you better and hopefully you can get to know me a bit better as well. <laughs> Don't forget to let me know what you'd like to see in the emails if you've got any particular preferences. Don't forget I'll be doing links to private videos so those two. Yeah all that sort of thing. I've been doing a little bit of tidying up here and there and then making it a mess again. Packed away all my journaling things that I'd finally finished from last year's creative journal and then I started this year's creative channel and yeah, most of it's all back out on the desk again. And then yesterday evening I did start a drawing of a figure. Hopefully I'll get to start painting it today if there's time, I hope so. I'm going to do a little bit more tidying up and sorting out now and uh, catch up with you in a bit. Hopefully when this room is looking a bit better. There's still a lot to do in here. Always is. Always is. I went and got the tripod, I needed it. <laughs> so um, yeah, there was just something I wanted to talk about, really serious topic about becoming a real artist. <laughs> so for all my videos that I show you, all my paintings and starting to build up my portfolio and all that sort of thing, I kind of feel I need to address the elephant in the room or rather what is not in the room because we all know I cannot be a real artist unless I have a rascal trolley from Ikea in here. So I thought I'd better address that. So yesterday I had a little bit of a tidy up and a clear out in my storeroom slash utility room slash pantry next to the kitchen. And we had one, we had one of the trolleys in there with pasta and rice on it. <laughs> so I thought I'd better bring it in here. Cue the Ikea rascal trolley. So I feel like now I can become a real artist and I'm going to have a fun few minutes, half an hour, maybe even longer, rejigging some of my art supplies into here. <laughs> so I think it's going to belong. I was hoping it was going to fit under the table, but we've got this quite deep bit under here, which means it's, it doesn't fit by about an inch or two. Um, it could fit in the back there. But I'm thinking actually if I just tidy up down here, we've just got a whole load of cables and leads. We've got a box under there that was from when this was a sewing room. It had scraps from when I used the overlocker and it had that strip of fabric. I used to keep those because I actually used to also do wooden signs and I'd use the thin strips of fabric for the like ribbon to hold it up on to, to hook it onto things. So that can be got rid of now. Oh, sun's coming out, that's nice. <laughs> um, so I think it's gonna go there and I'm gonna rejig some of the art supplies because some things aren't really working over here. The main one being my watercolors. So I've been using this box, which is a really nice box actually. It's got two tiers. So I've actually separated these into my professional watercolors and some cheapy ones from W. Oh, 
from W.H. Smith's, which I never really use anymore. I've become a little bit of a, a paint snob in a way. As you can see, not a lot of room on this table next to me for a big box and then when you open the lid it takes up even more room. And I use other supplies as well. It's not like I'm just a watercolour artist. There's all kinds of supplies out. And what I've been really, really enjoying and what I would recommend. So see over here, I've got this. They're, they're only made of cardboard. They're not wooden or anything, but they're so far held up. These sort of little drawers. These were from Dorit Smith. These were from Paper Chase. And I really like them because you just pull them out. There's all my gouache paints and I just put them next to me. Then they go back in. When I'm doing something else. They can sit on top of each other. I've found it to be quite versatile and easy and good to use. So I would like to get my watercolours in one of these which means sorting some, emptying some of these from other things. The thing I think I'm going to sacrifice out of here is my ink sprays. Not the metallics. I've read that the metallics should be kept on their side. The irregular ones like these can just be kept upright. So I thought I would put these in the trolley on the top shelf. I'm not quite sure what else I'll put in there, but I'm finding more and more that I just haven't got space for things. My um, liquid watercolours are sort of sitting on top here. Yeah, just basically everything really needs, really needs a good tidy up and sort out here. So I'm gonna get on a podcast and get sorting. And I'm really excited. It's come over really dark again now. It's probably about to rain. I think this is a good task for a rainy weekend day, don't you? So I've just had a delivery of another notebook. Now I know a lot of you enjoyed my, oh gosh, sorry, this packaging is going to make a noise. There we go. Notebook video and uh, I have another one now to help me get organised. This is the Stationery Island A5 dotted journal with numbered pages. The colour is called Blueberry and it is 120 GSM with dots. So I've used Stationery Island before and I've been quite impressed with their books. They lasted the whole year of being used every day and nice thick paper. So this is going to be my notebook for important things that I keep forgetting or not necessarily important things, things that I need to know every now and then and then have forgotten how to do it. <laughs> so for example I'm going to put in here the colour codes for my branding. I, I'm always like searching around for my colour codes, I can't find them. Sometimes on my computer, because Chris is into computer programming, there are things I just don't understand, like how to get to my photos. Sometimes I can't seem to connect to the server, I think, that I need to connect to to get to my pictures and that sort of thing. I've also just done a bit about workflows, a little workshop about workflows for businesses. I thought that was an interesting thing that I might make note of. That's what this book is going to be for. Uh, so there we are. There is another book to help me get organised. <laughs> yeah, I like that colour. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful blue.
well I hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up although I do have to say one thing you and I both know despite the new organization I'm still not a real artist because I don't have the IKEA Alex chest of drawers <sighs> maybe one day don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter, the link will be below and I will see you again soon. Take care, bye.